Good morning. Welcome to our morning devotion. Glad you are tuned to the morning encounter. It is our prayer that you will encounter with God through this broadcast. And now, let's welcome the servant of God. Praise the Lord, dear viewer. This is yet another day we rejoice for the Lord has given us a, a time to to begin the day with this word and from uh you know uh from, with this word and from an encouragement which uh we find from the word of God. So uh this day we want to look at uh our 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 our, our running theme for the week that is radiating his glory by the Holy Spirit, radiating his glory by the Holy Spirit. And yesterday we looked at the life of Stephen, how he radiated God's glory through exceptional capabilities. He had wisdom, uh, you know, uh, to the, uh, a kind of wisdom that, uh, you know, people who would try to contend with him would not bring him down. So today we want to look at uh, the testimony of Micah. You know, the, the Micah was one of the prophets. The, we know them as the minor prophets in the Bible. But Micah gave a testimony about the work of the Holy Spirit in his life. And, um, you know, at times we, we think that the servants of God we see around, you know, are, are, are born with, uh, you know, with the capabilities they exemplify. No, it's not like that. It's because actually God is at work in their lives. And Micah was one of the prophets who actually prophesied, you know, to Israel, you know, in the, in the nation of Israel. And one day he actually gave a testimony of the work of the Holy Spirit in his life. And this morning we want to read in Micah chapter 3 and verses 8. And the Bible says, But truly I am full of power by the Spirit of the Lord and of judgment and of might to declare unto Jacob his transgression and to Israel his sin. Now, that is the testimony of Micah about the secret of his ministry. You know, Micah said, I am, he said, but truly I am full of power by the Holy Spirit. That was his testimony. You know, maybe people would look at Micah and and wonder. But Micah gave a testimony and said, I am full of power by the Spirit of the Lord and, uh, and of judgment and of might to declare unto Jacob his transgression. Now, the work of the Holy Spirit in our, in our lives is so evident or is seen by the service we, of, we, 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 we render. Now, the Holy Spirit comes upon us in so much power and the main reason he comes to us in power is so that he may enable us to serve. In this case, the Bible says that Micah was to declare to Jacob his transgression and to Israel his sin. We cannot only, we cannot do the work of God as we should except with the power or with the help of the, of the power of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit comes upon us in power so that we may serve. I pray that today you will be full of power by the Holy Spirit. At times maybe you are saying, oh, uh, Pastor, it seems I'm not up to the task. It seems I'm not able to accomplish anything. And you rate yourself as such that a, a person who cannot really amount to anything. I want to encourage you this morning that it's not by might, it's not by power, but it's by the Spirit of God. I pray that you will declare today, just like my can say, truly, I am full of power because of the Holy Spirit. And that is our prayer today, that we will go out there, not in our own power, not in our own strength, but by the power of the Holy Spirit. As you go to your place of work, as you accomplish the, the agendas of the day, I pray that you will go out there in the power of the Holy Spirit. And may this be our, your testimony today. I am truly full of power by the Holy Spirit so that I may be able to accomplish the things the Lord has prepared for me today. We can only radiate His glory 
when the Holy Spirit is upon our lives. Let's pray, my dear viewer. Our Father and God, in the name of Jesus, we pray that, Lord, indeed, may we be endued with supernatural power and grace to accomplish your will this day. May we be full of your spirit, even the spirit of power, as we go out into the day. May we accomplish your will to the glory and honor of your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The Lord bless you, my viewer, as you go out in the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. That was the morning encounter. We are glad that you tuned in. Follow us on YouTube at Sidim Eldoret TV. Our Facebook page is Sidim Eldoret. Our Twitter and Instagram handles at Sidim Eldoret. And our website is eldoret.sidim.org. Let's encounter again tomorrow morning, same time, same place.